Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> it's Trina there. Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give a fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. But get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he has some shit. Anyway, but what's what happening now about? is we don't. Now, you know, y'all talking all that shit like we ain't going to play this game tonight. Oh, yeah, we got, yeah. We, we, yeah. Got, uh, we got it's technical going down. difficulties yeah. with our Ustream yeah. or whatever yeah. the fuck that is. But we also have technical difficulties <laughs> with Bobby and Zoe. So. <laughs> Right now, Bobby and Zoe have uh, oh basically talked that shit to the point where they ready to play this one-on-one -on -one with basketball. It's going Bobby down. will be selling the um, jersey jerseys, <laughs> the, the uh, wife beater jerseys, right, um, with a yellow number on that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with a musty yellow number on that. Yeah. Right, and for the record, and, right, and Zoe gonna be wearing some um, Egyptian. <laughs> Egyptian yeah. Air Jordans. <laughs> His shirt is going to look like somebody bought it for him. Yeah. No, you guys are joking so much. No, no this ain't really no joke. Play. Bobby, this is going down. Gonna play. Gonna you damn right we're going to This is what's going to happen after Bobby the show. Good. After the show, this is oh what we're going to do. We're going to yeah. take one of the cameras out there, and we're going to watch Bobby and Zoe play a game of one-on-one, -on -one, up to seven. That's it. The winner will get all the glory. Oh. Hey, that's it. That's it. I want to say to Bobby, yeah. Bobby, if you lose, you will have lost to a man with green eyes. <laughs> and that ain't going to be the problem. I'm not leaving here Bobby with got no green loss. Eyes too. So, I'm not losing. Bobby ain't got green eyes. I am Bobby not losing. Bobby, yeah, Bobby got some different color eyes. Bobby yeah, yeah what I got is a jump shot that's Come going on, in and it's Bobby. between Bobby. that nigga eyes. Bobby, that's what's, so, yeah. Bobby. That's what's you going on. You can't down. shoot. You're a All tennis right. player. We're going to find out about that. You and now, Richard Williams. The, the, same thing, young the, the same thing that happened to your hero tonight is going to happen to you. He's talking, he yeah. he talking about Kobe, Kobe talking about Kobe 37 yeah. shots to yeah. get how many points? 39. 39 points. Yeah. 37 yeah. shots to get 39 points. Kobe Another is loss. over for you. Your game stink like that shit. They had to scrape out your Achilles. <laughs> <laughs> your pussy ass out of here. Anyway, so if you lose, you will have lost to, to an elderly man. I would have lost to Methuselah. That's right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, It's going down. You got that white beater with you? No. I would oh, never oh, wear it. Oh, I hell no. Oh. I got this. Do you know how much money I would pay to watch Bobby play in that tank top? <laughs> yeah. Bobby, we can, look, we can, we, we can hold off the recording. No, no. Until we you get that no, tank no, top. No, no, no. We're going to play tonight. Get your tank tonight. top together, Bobby. We're playing tonight. <laughs> Bobby, I will we pay you. We're playing tonight. I will play you. in that tank top. <laughs> I will pay you to play in that tank top. <laughs> I have to see it. Come on, Bobby. The yeah. whole world will watch that if Bobby yeah. played so and beat him in that tank top. I'm going to beat him. Man. The loser yeah. got to wear the tank top. I'll beat him in some over <laughs> <laughs> Not washed either. Don't wash it. No, Zoe, just do this. You going to make me play hard. I'm yeah. gonna play. Yeah. Oh, you going to have to play hard. I'm he got play to play real hard. Like, oh, so he got to bring everything he got, and he's still going to fall short. You, you got to wear that tank good. top. If you lose, you got to wear that tank top to the show. If I lose, and if Bobby lose I'll wear the tank top. But you got to get my... That ain't a punishment for Bobby wearing the tank top. No, 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 no. <laughs> we got to get one for Bobby that's fair. The bottom line that's is we just need to concentrate on what he got to wear because he's going down. If Bobby's he's going lose, down, what can Bobby he's do? He's going down. Be Come up with something. I don't know. If we'll, we'll think of a good one. Come on with it, whatever it is. I'm ready. But I ain't got to worry about that. You got what? Y'all spending way too uh, much time on that. I am not losing. Bobby, you're not I good. am not losing. If you lose, Bobby, you got to hug a man on Santa Monica with no oh, shirt on. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. No. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> with no shirt on. Skin to skin. Skin to skin. Oh, no. No. That, that, 
going to We ain't got to worry about that. Man on Santa Monica. With no shirt on. See, now y'all going to make me kill this nigga. <laughs> So now y'all don't don't hell no, oh no, oh no! Wait, I can't. Oh, no. Okay, it's the, the shirt uh, that I'm so not losing. So the game losing. is on. Are we going to record the thing, Corey, tonight? It's we getting recorded. The reason yeah. we're not going to record the game tonight want, is because need the tank top. Bobby has to wear that tank top. Daddy, do you know how priceless that? <laughs> was? Oh man, okay. this is a joke. Okay. Bobby, this is not a joke. Bobby. I'm gonna beat him in well, it's my overall. Well, not this is all player. Please let me produce this game. Please. It's on you. Okay, you can, do, you can do the production. Right. All right. We, 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 okay. Bobby is not yeah, a yeah, ball yeah. player. Okay, so According to you. Go to the topic. Then let's okay. Go. How about oh, that? Now y'all don't really man. Absolutely. He has no chance if y'all gonna give me a week to prep. It's really <laughs> gonna be. Oh, see, and you ain't talking about prep. <laughs> if you don't think I'm not gonna practice, you out your mind. You man, you give me practice. a week. I was gonna drill you tonight. You need you know you I was gonna, gonna finger roll oh, you into God. next week, but now the game I'm the breaking game. out the Earl Monroe. <laughs> Y'all can put do the put the, the roll. Y'all can put the playoffs the out of business. Oh my god! <laughs> With this game, don't be ridiculous, <laughs> man. Oh and no! Normally, no. I respect my elders, but nah, I'm gonna be Bobby. Nah, 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 nah. That's gonna happen. Estimate score from each of y'all, Bobby. What do you think the score gonna be? It'll be seven to two. The only reason he gonna get two nothing. is because I might miss seven one seven shot. Though, I'll beat Bobby seven to nothing. He's out of his mind. Okay, can I say if this? If I don't beat Bobby seven to nothing, I, I I might commit suicide. Well, then you know they need to get a gurney ready for him. Then I a haven't. Gurney. I have yeah, not seen yeah. Bobby play, nor have I seen Zoe play. Yeah. So this is something I look yeah. very yeah. forward yeah. to. Oh, yeah. This is okay. Be great. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be. But exciting. all the boys here aside, let's get to this topic. I play. Yeah, yeah. Let's get to some some yeah. of it. Huh? Yeah. Did you play with him? Boy, terrible. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ask your son if I'm telling when I took him to the hole. Oh. Oh, you mean after he dunked on you and uh, no. and threw him on the ground? No, tell him about when I took him to the hole. Oh, Did I take him to the hole? Bobby. Did I this, take him this, to the hole? This is my son. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just clear this up. He didn't answer the question. I hate when Bobby tried to throw my son under the table. He didn't answer the my question. My son sees an elderly Ooh. man. So got that twitch in his eye. He gets mad. <laughs> my son sees an elderly man on and the he, court. And he got took to the hole. So Bobby said, let me show you some things. <laughs> <laughs> And took his ass so he, straight to know, the he hole. Go by, he goes by my son. My son let you do that. No, he ain't let me do that. And he made a shit. layup. And then Bobby started mouthing off. So my son goes, oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then the next play, bow. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then what happened on the next Bobby play? grabbed him and threw him on the ground. <laughs> you damn right. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. while, while St. John's head coach was there watching my son. Right. All of that Bobby crazy in a bag of angels. Oh. So if you don't, <laughs> you don't think I'm oh, all in. I'm going to destroy too. Bobby. Bobby's nah. a sore loser. So all right. Well, cause that's like, what people my do son going to let El- we, we go ain't going to, you know what? It's better, it's better if we just let the nation see these two great athletes. <laughs> <laughs> and do their thing. Now let's get back okay. to the real <laughs> nitty gritty that nobody really wants to talk about <sighs> in front of their woman. Mm. This is a topic that men do not like to discuss in front of their woman because it puts them on the spot. But this nation is divided, in my opinion, because of this. <laughs> If men can have the two girls or three girls or four girls that they fucking with all under one roof, I believe the economy would be fixed. (laughs) There would not be no issues with broke motherfuckers because the lion will have his lionesses (laughs) doing what the fuck need to be done as they take turns on that dirty dick. Because that's what it will. Like yeah. yeah. So you well, saying yeah, all <laughs> these situations should really just turn into a pride, like a pride alliance. Listen, man. One dude no with matter a bunch how of women un- out there hustling. No matter how unorthodox it sounds, the reason <laughs> people struggle is because at most it's only two incomes. But if there was more than two incomes, more than two people working toward that goal of that family... I believe, as crazy as it sounds, mm. people wouldn't be in the hole as deep as they are right now. No, because it would stay pretty much still stay the same because then they're going to all start having children as well. So that means more kids. You need a bigger home. Add everything else up. You can so, have a girl with the fattest neck 
abort the kids and had a more attractive <laughs> oh girl. Oh, my God. You know, you love her the same. It's just her kids would be rougher in the world. They, you so you to, mean the ugly girl got to have the abortion? The ugly girl, just, you know, maybe she don't have to do as many chores around the house, but her, her children will be prohibited. Uh, uh. But that's some bullshit. <laughs> How is that? Y'all some bullshit, man. Yeah, fuck you, soft motherfucker. No. Okay, but so look. you you are talking about this topic. Uh, why? Because that's something that you guys would like, or is no. it something that you just curiously say, like, how many people would be interested in something like this? We're putting it out there because I believe most men are scared to ever in their lifetime to sit down with two women that they deal with. And say, I pulled this surprise meeting together. (laughs) It's got to be a surprise meeting? It has to be because they may not show up if you tell them what it is. (laughs) But I'm just saying, if you get them in a room and you speak honestly about what's going on, you may lose both of them. But morally, you did what you were supposed to do anyway. According to... What gospel? Well, when I say morally, you did what you were supposed to do to anyway because, you know, most people live with that guilt that they never could come clean about everything that's going on with what they do mm-hmm. and how they live in. Well, Corey, I think they don't come clean because they don't want to lose what they got going on. Of course. Because if they were to become... I if think they were women to- are guilty of that, too. True. But if they were gonna, if they were to speak on it and try to make that happen... It most likely is not going to come to fruition. I just don't see how they, they could possibly work personality wise. Because say that again, Bobby. I don't see how they could possibly work personality wise. Because typically, what you like in in one person, uh, the other person is not going to fit into that mold. Are you speaking um, hypothetically? Or are you speaking from um, just from? I'm just saying, like it's even with this topic, people have to say they're speaking hypothetically because. They don't want no shit. This is what makes the world rough because we all live such a fucked up lie. And that lie is causing tension in your lives because you're living the lie, number one. Mm -hmm. And also, the person you with, a lot of times, they suspect that's your lifestyle anyway. So maybe if you come with some different shit where they see something different about you... Even if they leave you, they'll be like, you know what? That was the really shit I ever seen in my life. A motherfucker do. Which, in my opinion, might be worth it. Mm. I mm. I just don't see how you're going to fit all of them personalities under one roof. I just don't see that happening. Man. Well, why not? I would argue what you say right there, Bobby. You say fitting all those personalities under one roof. Yeah. In most situations, you can't fit the personalities under the roof that you have right now. And it's just, just the, the two. two of you. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Maybe the third person can serve as the mediator. Unless you choose all fucked up personality having motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. That's another flaw we have. Who we choose. Okay, but why do they all have to live under one roof? Because it helps people get on their feet. It saves gas money. Because <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what if you if you what if you offer that? Like, okay, you know I got because most of the time that's the case anyway. People will know about main girl, and you got the side girls. They kind of already know. And then no, so why no, do they no, have no, no. to come together? And in, in, are you saying that most people don't know? They assume. Okay. So Every once they- in a while, you know, the truth pops out about what the person is doing, and because of the feelings you have. Or they may have for you. Y'all don't break up right away. Mm-hmm. But why do we have to lie about the situation forever? Why do you? Why are you around somebody where you're never bold enough to say, you know what, I fuck other people. I love you. You know what I mean? As far as I'm concerned, you are what I'm living for. You are who I'm cutting for. Mm-hmm. But... I fuck other people, and this one girl I'm fucking with seems really nice. If she moved in with us, I'm sure she can help keep up things. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh Lord! Like you see how you oh see how that's God. funny, but it shouldn't be funny. It's, that's what I'm saying. Let me ask you this, man. Shit. Would you say that the concept? Bobby said, "Man, <laughs> shit." <laughs> but I want to know why Bobby said, "Man, shit." Because I man. just can't. I can't picture that working, Corey, because. Um, most relationships past, you know, just a, a casual relationship is intense. 
you know, to the point where you, you, you develop strong feelings for somebody. And even if you go outside of that relationship, that's all that is, is an outside relationship. So how is that going to work under a roof where that person really, that you done brought into that mix, see that, damn, he treat her different than than than, than he do me. Well, Bobby, I saw, this movie work called, I saw this movie called Savages. Now it's a movie. Mm-hmm. But if you saw this movie, Savages... The two guys live with the one girl. Both of them have a sexual relationship with the girl while they have a business that is very productive and they make a lot of money. There is no games amongst them. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's two they men know and what one it woman. Is. So it's two men and one woman. Okay, and I'm well, just saying. Women only... are emotional. The guys don't go off So are you saying though. polygamy will save the economy? I'm not saying it would do it all by itself, <laughs> but I'm saying it is an option that I feel like it's a shame people look like they won't consider because they feel like it's something foul. When how can it be foul when everybody's doing it? People, you know, there are people out here who aren't in a relationship. Right. Mm-hmm. And they'll be fucking with people that are in a relationship. And they think they're not fucking up the relationship or they're not part of the relationship. Hmm. You're all part of it. As long as you have the knowledge of what's going on, mm. you're all part of what's happening. The problem is everybody isn't informed with what they need to be informed with. And that's what causes all of the tension and destruction in society, if you ask me, because everybody has to lie to each other according to this, um, according to the rules here in America. Hmm. Hmm. Now, listen to me. I'm not. I'm not trying to... <laughs> petition for this like yeah we should be doing this but I'm saying like people are even scared to open their minds to this just like with religion maybe some of the stuff you learned wasn't what you need to know Mm -hmm. I'm saying the way we live together where you're taught you can only be with one woman Um, you know even women only be with one man even though I think it's very hard for a woman to function when she's got more than one guy and we could talk about that. The reason I think that. Yeah, we could talk about that. Go in on that, uh, Corey. What what's different? Um, a lot of times, when women are sleeping with more than one guy, they become callous, in my opinion, mm. toward men. This is just my opinion. I don't no, have no, a no, professional. No. I don't have a professional point of view on this. This is my mm-hmm. observation in life. When women get used to sleeping with two or three guys at a time, they become callous and lose their sense of compassion for anybody and anything. Maybe their kids, they still have, you know, they'll have it for their kids. But when it comes to being intimate with a person like another guy or whatever, it becomes something that's like, oh, it's nothing to me. Hmm. But when they are, when they focus on one guy which is what most women do, mm-hmm. even though most of the time it might be the wrong guy. But when they focus on one guy, it seems like they have a a, a direction, a purpose. But when they're sleeping with a lot of guys, I'm telling you, it's just my opinion, they are frivolous about sex. They can sleep with anybody. Like it ain't nothing. Hmm. Just because they sleep with a lot of guys. What do you think of that? Darlene, I wonder what you think about that. You're a woman. I, I mean, I believe that. that and you gets, know women like this, don't you? Yeah. But but at that point, they're just gone. They're no longer women. What are they're they? Just, they're just cold pieces because that's not a, a woman. That's not ladylike. You know what I'm do saying? They're not used to that. They like don't do that. that. Wait, but what, what does she mean when she says they're not ladylike? Sleeping. You're talking about a sleeping around with all these like three Sex. different guys? Yeah, yeah. One time just going for it like that? No. All the porno chicks I met in my <laughs> that's life. That's work, Corey. They're working. <clears throat> Oh, no, no, they fucking. Whether they pay for it, that's right, prostitution. Right, right, right. Whether they're working, but in a relationship, you're talking about in a relationship. In other words, um, I don't see that being able to work out because the the problem with the woman women is that they yeah, they might want that one particular guy, and yes, you got another woman, another wo- couple women in there, but it's time. So they, you know, they get like that. They are like, but I, wait, I haven't. I've seen those shows. They don't work work out. The polygamist, where these guys are married to like five, six women. 
And this, yeah, it's do. always the same. Yeah, no, out. they're all fighting out. out. They be chilling Dude, they're all years. they're always fighting and arguing and everything. And the main, I'm trying to get That's to it. The, the main way. You're not going to fight and no, argue, no, no, no. but you could always walk away from the one. But the, but the main, but the main, but the main society, problem and the main argument that I hear, right, and not only just in those situations, but just women, period, is... The time with me, but I want them there. Right. I want. I they but, want. But a the hole, easiest want, thing to do in that so, situation and you think is that's gonna help. With I'm a bunch arguing of the, with my wife. I don't like your tone. I'm gonna go over to wife number two. Right. So they're all Get gonna your be tone unhappy together. And you think that's gonna? Oh, hold hold on. You, you know what? You know what's not fair. This is what's happening. You're talking about stuff off television. Which not is even just that. No, I'm just saying that's produced. an example. I'm talking about like take the Mormons. But their main problem is if you just what I listen hear women to me. say anyway. If you listen to me. The Mormons are not trying to blend into society. I would think if you have a couple where there's not, it's not traditional, where it's more than one girl, more mm-hmm. than one guy, whatever you're going to do. Mm-hmm. If they're in society, it's harder to make that work. But if they live in a society where it's not something that's looked at as evil, yeah. which is what we need to talk about next, because uh, for what I understand from Akon and his situation where he was trying to bring his wives to the United States and they barely told him, you can't live like that out here or you will not become a citizen here. Mm. The way you look at things here is mm-hmm. not the way they look at things in other countries. Mm-hmm. Other countries have shit like this that's normal. So... I'm saying, like, when so you see stuff on TV, it's it produced that way. Here? It's abnormal here because the wicked men in power know that if people come together, they will find ways to solve most of the problems. So you said it, it, we have a better chance at. You know, dealing with some of the issues that we faced if we had collect bigger if it's families. A, if you have a team. Hmm. A man and a woman trying to, <laughs> I mean, listen I to me, listen to me, listen to me. If you, if, you, if you don't disagree with, I mean, if you don't agree with me, I that's what we're doing this for. Right. I need you to let me know you don't disagree with me. But I just think, and this may be looked at as something personal. If you got a man and he got two women mm-hmm. that are down with him, mm-hmm. I don't think society has nothing out here that can hold that team back. But when you got a man who just got a woman and they have to try to take on this world by themselves, they have limited resources unless they are privileged. And we all know who the privileged people are. So they don't have the same issues that the people who are out here not in that tax bracket have. And the reason I even bring this up, the reason I even bring this up is because, yo, this shit ain't working the way it's going. Hmm. Mm. Well, first of all, it's hard enough to get one woman to commit to you in a way that you can build something. And I still haven't been able to get my mind around the likelihood of finding two women that would be completely engaged in what it is that I would call a forward thrust. Have you ever dealt with two women at one time? I was about to say, they out there. Yes, well, I've, I've dealt with, them, but, but I'm just saying I've not like. dealt successfully with two women. <laughs> they ain't gonna be the time. ones that you want. Nobody <laughs> has, Bobby. You see, but have you have, have you ever dealt with two women at the same time where they both know about each other and they both cool with that? Nah. So that's what I'm saying. People haven't even done it, but, but it seems but crazy. And my point is, the reason is is it, difficult for me to imagine that is. It's been hard enough to try to be with one woman successfully. I'm talking about to the point where you're confident that, you know what, man, I'm looking forward to this because it's working out like that. The, uh, the thought of being able to find two women that, that, that can deal with me on that kind of level is beyond my comprehension. Just me so. personally. I think it all has to do, and I've learned this through trial and error, but I think it all has to do with the level of honesty that the man presents from the jump if he just hey i'm not monogamous and but you cool you bad i want to build something with you and then he has another situation and he tells the truth about that hey i'm seeing somebody else and then he's, you know what we might as well do this thing together what i find and you have out a choice is and women then, and then... tend to follow the honesty of a man now if he 
fucking trying to convince one and you know not playing the other us. one they don't, don't like know, that being played playing one against the other mm-hmm. then that's when it turns into a problem but if he lays his cards on the table and stands by it like a man stands behind his word mm-hmm. nine times out of ten well this is what women this is what i've learned women don't like for you to put them in a situation that makes them feel uncomfortable or intimidated and a woman who ain't about nothing is intimidated by a man's truth. If he's living in his truth, she already don't want to fuck with him. He, she looks at him as, oh, he's too much for me to deal with. I can't control him. I can't handle him. But then there are other women who are exceedingly attracted to a man that is in alignment with his purpose, with who he is, and knows that she can't manipulate him. She'll stay with that dude even if he's married. Even if he fucking with somebody, she will. St- I'm good. I'm here because he's in his truth. Let me see what Bobby got to say. Well, that I, I'm looking at the timeline for that because it may start out like that, but I'm talking about the chef life because uh, mm-hmm. you talk about being in multiple relationships. At some point, somebody gonna want more, and in this and in this culture, that's problematic because in other cultures, mm-hmm. the economics might dictate. You mm-hmm. stay in that situation. But in this mm-hmm. culture right here, somebody can step on you real quickly. Once they get to that point where, you know what, I, I tried this. I wanted this to work, but I'm really not feeling this because I want more. Mm. Well, check this out. When it's one-on-one relationships, I've seen it fail. And all I'm saying to you is this. I say this to 5150 Nation. My opinion is this. If you are a man who just like Zoe said, is honest, you have a better chance around a moral woman by staying honest. Not just about who else you're fucking with. I'm saying about everything. But here's what I feel like it hasn't been touched on. There are men out here who just are not capable of ever being honest (laughs) about anything. They will not Say what it is. It's women like that too. So as a woman is around a man like that who just will not say what it is or even when she confronts him about something that she sees and he's forever acting like he don't know or forever dancing around the answers. (laughs) But that's what makes a relationship, in my opinion, fade away quicker than anything. Right. So if you a man who has the strength to say, listen, I have another lady friend, whether you say it in the beginning or whether you say it later on, it all depends on who ha- who has she been dealing with. That was a motorcycle. Who <laughs> has she been dealing with the whole time? Because it makes a difference when you talk to her, mm-hmm. if you come to a woman and say some real shit like that, but the whole time you've been around her, she's been bullshitting, that turns into the icing on the cake. But if you're a man who, for the most part, has stood strong in her eyes when she sees stuff about you that is that takes strength to even say, right? I think that she'll open up to different ideas like that. I'm mm-hmm. not saying she'll be able to pull it off. But I'm saying she will open up and have a better understanding of what you're trying to do rather than if you a man who always got that bullshit coming from either one way or the other. But just go back to what we talked about a few years ago in one of these shows. In order for a woman to attract a man that is in his truth, she's got to be in her truth, right? And then on top of that, when, when I be looking at these situations, I'm thinking, first off, most men are socialized to lie to women anyway, because the lie works on them better than the truth does in most cases. Not really. Yeah, it does. Why Bobby. you say why you say not really, Bobby? Because I guess in my late 30s. Uh, I got to a point where I said, man, I done, I done told enough lies and been out of enough windows to just stop that bullshit. <laughs> been out you know, enough windows. Just, <laughs> you know, it's too dangerous, man. Right. And, and, and it just it was problematic. 
And I just started telling women the truth. Look, first but of all, to get to but let me just, old. but I got yeah, there. Yeah. And, 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 and so, and, and the success rate actually went up in terms of meeting women. Now, here's where the problem kicks in when you tell somebody as, as a rule, look, I got a woman and women problems. Oh, that's that's funny. No, that's not funny. That's the truth. I, I'm attracted to you, but it's, I got problems with women right now because I do have a girl that I'm seeing. And then, you know, the lady becomes attracted to that more so than anything else, in right. my opinion. Right. Right. Honesty, like but that's but, the honesty right. that I talked but, about. But right. now, here's the problem with that, though. The honesty plays out to the extent where, okay, you're in the game, you're in the mix, you're socializing with this person, and then them feelings kick in because right. whether you, you whether she's not being – some you can be as honest as you want to, but some part of you knows that this woman is be, not being honest with herself, especially if she's an attractive woman with something going on. How long is she going to really Take be that. comfortable with mm-hmm. that number two spot? Mm-hmm. Well, how long? And it, and, and it's it's again, chef that, life that, involved. That, that, is a, that. that is a that is a a viable and a valuable question to ask, but we don't want to blanket license it either because there are some women who are quite content being in that number two spot. But for how it long? Doesn't, it doesn't apply to all women right. that all women will be discontent at some mm-hmm. point or all women have a shelf life in the number two positionality. It doesn't necessarily mean that. There are women out there mm-hmm. that are like that. And back to my point about men being uh, socialized to lie to women because lies work on women better than the truth does. What it First off, the only reason why men lie is to, re, uh, is to avoid rejection. Right. Number two, men don't lie with words typically. We lie with behavior because women value our behavior more than they value our words. So men have been socialized to behave in alignment with what the woman thinks is valuable. And we'll behave up until the point we get what we want and then we'll introduce her to a new behavior or a true behavior which is more in alignment with our truth. And they go, well, who are you? And, and, and you've changed. Well, I've gotten what I wanted. And now I'm on to the next, the next mm-hmm. opportunity or the next situation. Mm-hmm. So us lying is part and parcel to how we interface with women socially. It is rare that you find dudes that just say, I'm going to tell the truth 100% of the time, period. Yeah. Regardless of what you think about me, regardless of whatever. And yes, there is... A benefit to doing that, but it takes a certain kind of woman who's at a certain kind of level that can respect that. Right. I've had that happen once. Remember I told you? What happened? The 12 years that I've been dating, I had one guy out of the 12 years actually say that, you know, this is the truth. I'm going to tell you what's going on. And you gave it to him, didn't you? What do you mean? After he told you the truth, you was turned on, weren't you? I I was, but I didn't stay with him. I mean, I was. I I gave that up to him. That's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, See, you, you know got to keep it I'm not talking about, No, he told me this after we were already together for a few months. Well, he didn't tell you the truth. He was trying no, to get did. rid of your ass. No, oh, <laughs> shut up, bastard. The Corey. truth will get her out of here. Bastard Corey. Let me let her know what it really is. <laughs> <laughs> You just realized that's the truth, didn't you? No, I'm it's not. It I swear to I swear to all goodness. No. We still yeah, we still stuck around for a little it, while. Individuality. <laughs> no way. Individuality <laughs> means a lot in this in this in this instance we're talking about. This is definitely a, 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 a as you go, who you meet type of situation I'm talking about. Right. But I just wish the world wasn't set up where you have to cater to the feelings of your woman. Because catering to the feelings of your woman is going to lead y'all to destruction in most, in most situations. Your woman wants the world to be fairy tale like She doesn't well, want the so world the guys. to be. I mean, if they're lying. If I they're, believe if they're there are guys like that. Believe the majority of the ones that are doing that, that are lying about it. That's their fantasy. No, 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 no. Or else no, no, they're no. not being true. Guys who That's live in fairy tale. Guys who live guys in fairy tale live? worlds. Yeah. If they're having a girl here, a girl here, and they don't know about each other. Let me say this. Let they me say, say this. Oh, I, got, I got a hot chick over here that I could take to the clubs. I got my wife over here that's doing my laundry and cooking. I can come home. That's all fancy fairy tale. They're not being truthful. Let me say this. Guys it's who live in fantasy and fantasy. fairy tale. I got this girl over here. They're not telling neither one of them the truth. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to get this out. Because they don't want it to disappear. I'm going to get this out. Guys who live in fantasy and fairy tale are exposed a lot quicker 
than women are mm -hmm. who live in fantasy and fairy tale. Because when a guy lives where he wanted done his way and all that, women are quick to tell you, oh, motherfucker, whoop de whoop de woo But when a girl is saying, I want it this way, I don't want you to go visit your baby mama today, I don't want you to do that, mm -hmm. guys tiptoe around her request to keep her around. But when girls... When it's reversed, when it's the guy who's all demanding, kind of unless he got a lot of money or a ponytail. I know Ice T used to have a ponytail. <laughs> oh, here we what? go. What? Yeah, go. Ice T. Here we he had the ponytail. Most guys <laughs> don't have it like that. You get to be diva like when you're a man. That woman is quick to check your ass. But women are diva like, and no. guys will just bite I'll their never tongue. Check anybody. Not have say ever, anything. Have you ever been a handful to a dude and and he was just kind of walking on eggshells around you, kind of tiptoeing? No. You I just, don't know. We 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 need to yeah. have that bitch you had on your show, Zo. Who? The bitch. Uh, the the little. Uh, what well, you know who I'm talking about? You just showed me a picture of the bitch in a booty outfit. What is the bitch name, Zo? <laughs> Zo be having them bitches on there, and Zo be catering to their feelings. Hello, and I'm like, Zo is so intelligent, but he will not he check these hoes. Hey, it be me checking the hoes. He ain't telling the truth. I want, hey, I want to be able to keep them talking. If we just fucking well, what chop their goddamn the truth? What head the truth? off. What was that what one the, heifer name Jasmine, that was on Joe's Jasmine, Jay? Jasmine. That's one of the hoes. But yeah. look, I'm talking about... <laughs> What is the other Jasmine girl? Jasmine is a fine, upstanding young woman. Very beautiful. Jasmine is somewhere right now arguing with a dude <laughs> can do better than her. <laughs> but he's like to fuck her, so he try to say shit to make her feel good to keep mm. her around. That's what's mm. happening right now with Jasmine. Mm. Call her phone, ask her. She's going to say, I got to call you back. <laughs> That's what's happening now, right now. But I'm talking about, what's that other half a name who veins was popping out of her head? Oh. Who finally came oh, out the bag on you, oh, so Because she oh, felt as though yeah. this ain't moving as fast as I wanted okay, to. Okay, I know you're talking so about. Yeah, you yeah, are disposable yeah, to so me now. That's what you're doing. You yeah. go, oh. No, I'm talking about because I... <laughs> He's I talking about Brandy. Yeah. Brandy. <laughs> what is her last name? McGee. McGee. Brandy yeah. McGee. When I used to see I like Brandy oh, still. Oh, she's sweet. No, she's You, really man, sweet. she good. She's straight for the stroke. Other than that. Straight for the oh stroke. Straight for the stroke. Other than that, she's an awful person. She's Wait, for fucking. What are you doing? And when she found out that you were not going to give her what she wanted as fast as she wanted it, she told you to kiss her ass. Mm. Wait, not that. Oh, yeah. It pretty much happened. Brandy, what Brandy you know? We talk about the bitch who used to be at the foxhole. Oh. Oh, look at Darlene. Mm. I don't, don't want to make you sure. You might be mixing them up. he said that, I was like. You might be oh, mixing them up. I know her. Which Brandy? Marcus King? No. You said oh, Marcus. thank God. Because I know her. Oh, gosh. No, we're not sweet. talking about Brandy. That's oh, Brandy please. Palmer. I love oh, Brandy. Brandy's great. Thank you. Please Brandy, make that I clear. like her. Okay, she's good. People. Me, I adore yeah. her. She's sweet. Brandy, okay, has the, Brandy also has crazy. the courage to thought. tell you when she is displeased with now, you and not smile okay. with you to make you, for, for whatever bullshit reason, people smile with people about right. it. At least that's my opinion mm. of Brandy. Now, who you talking about? The girl who works on the Marcus Yeah, she's The good. light skin yeah, girl. Yeah, she's, she's very sweet. good people. She's yeah. real sweet. Now Isn't listen. Brandy, right? Isn't she really Brandy McGee. This is what that happened. Is Big let's forehead, see. but fine bitch. Brandy McGee. Big forehead, but fine bitch. Yeah, Brandy's beautiful. But let me tell you what happened. <laughs> Zoe still finna try to patch that shit up. You must have hit that pussy yet. <laughs> Let me just oh tell you what happened. No, I didn't. Because after you hit the pussy, you'll be like, whoop that bitch. You're not going to get it now. Sorry. No, that bitch. Uh, Brandy you still just, get it? If you, go, if you got paper, you can fuck up. Let me no, tell you something. Now. Don't, try, we would, don't say anymore, Corey, Zoe. Let me just tell you. Say and I'm going to say that. I want to hear your side of the story. Right. But Young Jeezy said it best. The world is yours. <laughs> Wait a minute. How, what's that, how them lyrics go? That song, uh, Thug Motivation, the world is yours, and every bitch in it. <laughs> Come on, 20-year-old, what is his I name? I forget, hey, Jeezy, that shit was dope. That song, Thug Motivation, listen to that motherfucker. Mm. And, and that, that's Brandy for you. But go ahead, let me hear your little bullshit <laughs> sugar-coated Brandy story, because I heard she came out the bag on you. Uh, all she did, listen, she misinterpreted what we were talking about. <laughs> I said, I was saying women have, or sisters 
in our society have become like a social whore. She didn't understand what that meant. Right? <sighs> all I'm saying was social whore meaning all your decision making process is not coming from an original idea. It's coming from society's rules. Mm. Well, I'll be looking at you like you bullshit. I was sitting right there. That ain't what happened. That is what happened. <laughs> and this is exactly what this turncoat oh. ass nigga did on the show. Oh my so God. I'm going to throw his motherfucking ass under the bus too. Because oh. once I explained the shit, he went, oh, now I know what you meant. This is one word. thing I have to I always did know Zoe. what you meant. <laughs> Let me tell you something she about She didn't Zoe. get it. Let me you couldn't convince her of it. Zoe has a loyalty to sugarcoat shit for bitches that he know. <laughs> if it's a bitch that he know, he gonna make it right for her. Like he did with that one girl on the show, um, the weirdo bitch. We, we ain't oh giving her no God. more play. Oh, yeah, we ain't giving her no more play. You we ain't got to say her name. Yeah, but yeah, right, yeah, just right, cut right, it right. All of the people who watch me. Cut it where you're Who are you talking yeah. about yeah. now? The girl you showed me with the dress Use on right there. Use descriptions, don't say names. Oh, you're names. talking about uh, Jasmine. Use descriptions, Jasmine, don't say names anymore. Listen, people were watching the show, and yeah. maybe they do this because it's my followers, but they all say, why Zobie, why Zobie sugar coat with shit for them hoes? Mm. <laughs> Can I, this is what happened though. Let's listen to Zoe and his um, uh, 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 Explanation. version of what happened. I'm talking Go. about social whores. <laughs> Brandy is thinking like I'm t attacking women. She said whore, so she felt <laughs> right. So then, nope, so then when no. when 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 she and when Bobby is sitting at the corner, she asked, "Did I miss it?" Blah blah blah. What did Zoe say? What did Zoe meant? Then Bobby asked for a clarification, and then I said the same thing that I'm saying right now. I said, "I'm not calling sisters hoes." That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying social whores, meaning y'all don't fucking have these original ideas. All your ideas about relationships, about how we interface comes from society. That makes you a whore because you'll sell out a good man. You'll sell out a good situation in order to in order to have what society says. But did she say it was her show, not the Zoe show? She said this our show. I just want to know, did that happen? Yeah, she said that. <gasps> what I'm talking about right there. Hey, so can Bobby what? give his just a quick, version of just, what just, happened? Just, just, well, you, well, you were there, right? That I was there. I was there. You, are you? I don't want to cause no drama between you and Zoe. No, no. we already, we already, we, 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 we don't I'm gonna take out it out on Bobby's <laughs> ass on the court. That's what I'm gonna do. Bobby, Here's what, what do you? What did you see happen? <laughs> it's not what I saw. It's what I heard happen. She took everything Zoe said literally twice. He tried to tell her twice that he wasn't talking about her she took what he said literally twice and she and dug you helped in her. no no i saw her he leave. was like what what the fuck you talking about <laughs> Zoe? what does that mean because oh she, i ain't with that shit if you mean that and she was like see i told you and then she got up and stormed out no she, she was me, what is your version she was <laughs> she <laughs> took what Zoe said personally twice and bobby helped her no i didn't have to help her because <laughs> You repeated verbatim what you said broadly and generally, and she narrowed it back down to a personal attack. She thought we were. What? No, we. Drinking. It was you because and you he stood. Made, and he made clear too. <laughs> you, I, what you mean, Zoe? I don't know what the fuck you remember that you was there. I don't know this what you is mean. My first time ever <laughs> seeing Zoe talk over somebody because he don't want them to get out what they're saying. <laughs> I've never seen I Zoe do this before. What are you talking about? I've never about? seen Zoe do this I do this before. all the time. Oh. I've never seen you do this before. That's why I'm watching in amazement. <laughs> Bobby, whatever you got to say, he don't want you to get it out. She must be really cute, Zoe. She must be real cute. The sad oh, part was Zoe did everything he could to rescue the situation because he wasn't talking about her. But she plugged in. And when she did, she wouldn't release. And there wasn't nowhere for him to go. And then she just continued to spiral out of control. That's exactly what happened. It wasn't his fault, but she. There is a clip on the stuck. internet where me and her went at it. I and remember the same that. thing I happened. Remember I remember. Yeah. What yeah. you talking about? Yeah, she it's, took it personally. Bobby, yeah. did, did it, you was there? She took it personally. You, you saw it. Even did it happen the same way? You weren't talking to you her. You know what I think I'm gonna do? You weren't even talking about her. You know what I think? I'm, gonna do? I think, I think I'm gonna that, release that show because we still have that show, and I never released it. 
And why then, didn't you release it? And, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. <laughs> I'll tell you why. This is for all of you niggas out there. I'll tell you why. Because I said to myself, I said, I don't want to embarrass her. Because the way I was talking to her, you were there. The way I was talking to her, I made it clear. She looked dumb as shit while I was explaining it. And I reiterated it twice. I'm not talking to you or about whatever issue you brought up. You should just grab her and so kiss her right I, there. I, 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 as a matter of fact, I just shut the show down. I just shut it down. I she told Chris, I said, we're not going to post it. And niggas have been asking me to post it uh. ever since April. And then she had the nerve. I talked to her. Listen to this. Mm. This is going to kill you. You, you had a bullshit ass. I, I talked to her the next day. <coughs> right? Stop Go ahead. I talked to her the next day. And she was like, I told her, I said, I'm not putting the show up. She was like, what are you afraid of, Zo? I was like, I'm trying to protect your ass. You look crazy. And I didn't put the show up. <coughs> God don't want me to get this shit out. Because God well, knows you're going to say something <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Go ahead. I find it highly disrespectful. <laughs> That you would protect the whore <laughs> <laughs> who is known for trying to charm her way uh -oh. into all kind of situations. The day I wow. met that lady, that bitch smiled with me like we was best friends. For when was this? over an hour. When was this? This is when they was doing the moist hole. I mean, the fox hole. That's sorry. what happens. See what happens? See? <laughs> I don't want you to get it out. See? Cause you wrong. <laughs> and Bobby, you wrong too. I'm taking out on your ass on the court. I swear to God, what I'm dunking on your ass. Oh <laughs> lord, <laughs> have mercy. I don't know who this is. Mm. He talking about Brandy, man. Brandy McGee. Oh, Brandy McGee. <sighs> Beautiful Brandy. Oh, she had her own show. Tits no, McGee. No, uh, no, she's never had her sure? own show. That bitch smiled with me like she was my friend. Like we was buddies. Bobby, did you see that? I was there. You was there. Yeah, was that there. bitch act like she was going to give me oh, some pussy. Where, where was this? Look, Lindsay. Look promising. Where was this? At look the prom foxhole yeah. when they used to do it down there at L.A. Live. Conroe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's when I knew who the bitch was. I showed her that she had gave me her number before. Mm -hmm. Because she knew that they were giving me a show on the foxhole. Mm -hmm. And I put... What is it? I showed her how I saved her number in my phone. Mm -hmm. The writer dude that she used to fuck with. Light-skinned brother. He wrote on Martin or something like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I Do you know his about. name? Uh, it starts with a phone. B. Bernie? No, something. it's B something. Anyway. I, I don't know. I wrote her number as his girl Just in my phone. I wrote the dude name. <laughs> So and so, and she laughed because he wasn't fucking with her no more. Obviously, mm, mm. she had already came out the bag on him. Mm. That was my way of letting her know, bitch. I know who you are. Mm. I know what you do. Mm. You can't charm your way into me. Mm. So when she came out the bag on you, the evil side of me, I, I'm I'm not ashamed to say it, was so <laughs> happy. That she stopped her bullshit ass charade of friendliness with you mm. and checked the shit out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about this her show or this ain't your show. This is our show. This oh. is ours. This is our bitch ain't put a dime into nothing. Mm. Mm. We're we're uh, this is a team. Mm. This is our thing. Mm. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So that's my point. It's like it's like, I got checked and rightfully so. Back to the back to the uh, subject where that go, you can't create a life with a bitch like that. <laughs> well whether you by yourself or with a big gangbanging bitch that'll help you jump on the hoe. <laughs> that bitch ain't gonna act right. That bitch is born to cause chaos. <laughs> and any man around her got his fist balled up for no reason in the world. <laughs> <laughs> What's he at? What is that? Is that a picture of him? Mm, is that you? Yeah, that's us at the Fox. Wait hall. a minute. Let me see. Look at the smile on Zed. That's not her. No, that's, that's not tangerine. her. That's Tangerine. Oh, that's on the images. That's on her mm. images. Tangerine. Tangerine, tangerine has um, the body of a goddess. What? 
What? Is I can't give her a She does have a body of That's Brandy. That's the lousy bitch right there I next to Speedy. I don't remember her. I don't remember her from <laughs> And Lewis Dix. Well. Tangerine and, uh, you know, Clayton Thomas got married. Congratulations. I know about that. Yeah. I wish them the best. Yeah. I was happy for Clayton. Yeah. I was happy. Um, and what's, and what's Tangerine. What's that, what's that so, Corey. Uh, she's showing pictures of earthquake and shit. She got foxhole pictures. Well, I want to see that bullshit. Oh, I just pulled so her So, Corey, because I couldn't remember when you consider the, the, the volatility we just described, how in the world can, can you have three of them? Man, please. Yeah, well, you don't reason. marry women like Brandy. You don't become. She doesn't a, deserve uh, to be married. What are you saying? That is a girl you fucking pay. Yo, are you going to call her after the show tonight, you man? Get to what the hell are you doing, man? It's out there, man. Damn. You know what you said, He's still trying to patch the holes in the Titanic, man. Hey, man, I'm setting Corey up, man. Don't oh. don't out my technique. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby just want me to use his phone so he can have a number. <laughs> no, I ain't. No, I don't roll like that. I'll put but, it to you like this. I ain't mad at Brandy. Me and her had a few disagreements since we have met up on your show, when we used to be on oh, yeah. your show. Oh, yeah. I'm not mad at her. I expect her to do everything she does. I'm smart enough to know who people are once I'm around them a little while. Mm -hmm. I feel like, or I think I'm smart enough to know enough about people. So everything that happened with me and Brandy, I expected it. I'm not the male who's going to smile with her and be her friend just because I think that's the trendy thing to do. Mm -hmm. well, you know what I mean? So but back to what you just said. We're going to come ago. to blows. When you go full circle with the concept of the show tonight, that's why I, I, I kind of backed out from the beginning of this uh, conversation in terms of being able to speak affirmatively, affirmatively about the possibility of that shit working. Because in this culture, in this day and age, with me being the focal point, I just don't see how you're going to put that many people under the roof and have any, any come That's bullshit, Bobby Glantyne Smith. <laughs> you my that. friend. You my <laughs> dear friend. So I know why your ass ain't speaking from the heart in this situation. You saying you Bobby lying? About friendship? <laughs> it's eagle eyes on you. Friendship? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Anytime I ever call somebody a friend, man, that was that was me for real. No, I'm not talking about dear friendship. I'm talking about a man being in a relationship where the two women or the three women or the five women, however many women he deal with, everybody knows each other. It's uncomfortable for people to talk about because they feel like the person that they live with will hear their point of view and start some shit at home. That's why people don't like talking about this on but talk that, shows. But, that, but that's and not that's the only reason. That's not the only reason. To, but it is uh, a reason, right? It is a reason. <laughs> a legitimate one. I know. I know. But that's not the only reason because those other folks that you're talking about, they not comfortable with that shit either. What they, other folks? We talking about, I'm talking about Everybody I know, I look. No, I'm talking about the women. I'm married. The other women. I'm married. Are not gonna be comfortable with that. I shit, know. Miss Holcomb gonna see this show, and she gonna have her little test questions for my ass. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like I'm that nigga. I can answer them questions. <laughs> and I guess the main, re you know what? I have a, what well, you know what? I I'm that nigga. I can answer them questions when they brought to me. Oh, so you want to live with two women or whatever the fuck. I can handle questions like that if they are brought my way. Okay. I'm not saying everybody can handle questions like that. Maybe we should take a break and give some suggestions for guys when they get grilled. <laughs> How they should respond. How they should why, respond. Why Whoa. should why should you give them any kind of tips? Because all they're gonna have to do is speak honestly, right? So why hey. truth why has no need, alibi. Why do they need any kind of uh Notes that is a great coaches. point. That's a great point. Why do they need it? From, uh, you just shoot Charlie. from the head. Supposed to be honest. And shoot from the she didn't head. even catch that. I didn't, I didn't hear that. Don't what worry about it. He said something nice. I doubt that. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I hope you get beat. I hope Bobby beats your ass. It ain't going to happen. Go, Bobby. Go. It ain't going to happen. It is going down. The Model T Ford is We're going to take a little yeah, break. Yeah, 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 We're going to yeah, take a little yeah, break and yeah, come back. Yeah. But when we come back, that's the question. What was, what was you saying? What? When? You don't even remember your question, do you? Question. No, you I said you don't have to have. You don't have you to have. You He's telling the truth. Right. If you're gonna you tell the truth, points. why do you need points? You don't need why do you need any the truth kind has of no tips. alibi. So if you're telling the truth, 
Why do you need my tips? I don't know, but we still going to give them when I come back. 5150 show. You did? Brandy McGee. No, I'm just fucking with Hey. Leave that beautiful flower alone. 5150 show. Um, if you watched the last segment, we watched Zoe put on his superhero cape. Yeah. Sure hey. Brandy, make sure Brandy McGee. Brandy, if you're watching this, you really need to go home and get Zoe that pussy if you ain't gave it to him already. Oh. I think you gave it to him already because you was like, this our shit. I was like, oh, Zoe, you it up. That bitch feels self-entitled. Oh, <laughs> boy. Yeah, you didn't think I figured that out, did you, mm. motherfucker? That whole mm. talk about this ah oh, shit. You fucking us, Zoe? No. Zoe, are you fucking Brandon? No. All right. All right. <laughs> God damn it. Mm. <laughs> That's what's up. Lord. Last segment. I would like to, though. You would like to? Yes. At least once. He's being honest. Mm. He's finally. Being honest. Huh? What do you mean, finally? Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't tell no lies. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> wrong with Bobby. Did you tell her you was trying to fuck her before you kicked her off your show, nigga? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking around. I'm yes, fucking with I did. <laughs> oh man. Brady, we just fucking with you. Just get that pussy up, bitch. Hey, but look here. Um, oh, no, God. Darlene said something that was very valuable when it comes to talking to your woman about anything, really. But especially if you're trying to um, combine uh, her with the rest of the bitches you out there with. Combine. You might have a bitch that's good for babysitting, you might have a bitch that work in Miss Fields. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can get some cookies and shit. You know what I mean? These bitches are valuable. So what I'm saying is, the truth is, we need to tell the truth. That's what Darlene said. Well, how did you say that, Darlene? Do you no, remember? Well, because earlier, well, before we went to the break, didn't you just say something about, we'll be back, and I'm going to give some tips on the guys so that they can say it better when they try to talk to their ladies. Right. Uh, about this situation type thing. And I thought, well, why would you want to do that? Why would you have to feel the need to do that? Because earlier, y'all said honesty is the way to go, like mm -hmm. the best policy. So why would you give tips? Why just would be, you give tips just be honest. to the guy? Just, right? be truthful. You just, just be truthful and just let the guy speak. How, why would you give the, anybody, why would you suggest to give tips? You, you, I'll go. I don't give a fuck. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. The reason you give some guys tips because everybody doesn't know um, how to communicate with women, whether they're telling the truth or whether they're lying. There are things, even if so you are telling a woman the truth. So you're going to give them tips on how to come out and be honest and truthful. You're not going to give them tips on how to pussyfoot around. The if you watch what's happening right now, fellas, Here you need go. tips like me and Darlene being honest, but she talk over me every time I talk. You need, <laughs> but you do this at, oh my God. You need <laughs> tips for this. <laughs> Oh my God! Go ahead. Get Look at tips. she's mad now. See, See you mad need mad tips for when women get mad like that. How to make them feel good? How do you good? deal with them when they get mad like that? Okay, now listen. This is I the am truth. I'm not mad. You know what I mean? Not at all. We're just gonna I'm say mad. you're mad. Okay, the first. You don't even have to say it. She mad. You Look can at that see in her. Yeah, Bobby. No, Bobby <laughs> taught me them veins. <laughs> yeah, Brandy got into it, and Brandy was like, "Corey, I love you." <laughs> Bobby was like, "Ain't no love with them veins, Bobby." Like no, honestly, I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm just curious to see what you got to say. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying, like, the tips, the, the tips are, are, they will come out of my mouth in a moment. But what I'm saying to you yeah. is, like, I'm using tips, guys. This is a tip. Like, Darlene is really a. Inside, she's upset. Like, oh, let me see something. Yeah, she mad at this motherfucker. But look, <laughs> whenever a woman is mad but not all the way steamed up, you can put that fire out by complimenting her on something that she did a long time ago that you might remember that, you know, she always wanted a pet on the back for that. <laughs> because I think Darlene is a stand-up woman. Always have. Has been a stand-up woman for years, um, as she has handled herself like a real professional, um, with never shitting. I've never seen her shit on her ex situation as much as we talk shit about Ice T. For sure, we don't talk shit like you know derogatory, right? Respectful right. shit. We poke at it and make fun of it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And we've never, I've never seen Darlene shit on Ice T. No. That's real. That's real though, right? Am I lying? No, that's true. I think that's big. Yeah. I that is a that is a quality in you that makes me yearn 
to be in your presence as a lady because no matter what the fuck going on with this, when it comes to that real shit, I watch you hold it down. That's well, because I don't get why people even do that when, they, when they're apart, when they break up. Right. I don't get why people talk bad about that other person just because they're no longer with them. Right. Now, see, all you guys out there, did you watch how I did that? I said something. <laughs> <laughs> it calmed her down. Oh see, this God. real player type shit going on here on the 5150. <laughs> if you watch the motherfucking master, <laughs> you will learn how to calm down the beast. Because of beast. 1999. Oh, boy. That means 14 payments. 1999. You too. All the real motherfuckers. So if you watch me transform <laughs> her into being in a calm state, was so she was fired up. up. You suck so that, va- up. that vein gone. Ain't that vein gone? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see that vein no more, D. Uh, sure. it's, 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 it's that a was a masterpiece. You. you already know it. I don't get worked up. Uh, 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 I don't get worked up. Oh, I never boy. get credit for being uh, who I am. That was, that was, that was real but shit. There. I know who the fuck I am. <laughs> All right, you understand me? Oh, boy. You pieced that together, bro. That was was awesome. If I do have the power to ask these questions, um, (laughs) I will. But, Darlene, you have dealt with more than one man at a time in your life, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Joe, you have dealt with more than one woman at a time in your life. Absolutely. Yeah, it's happened. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put Bobby on the spot. Yeah, goddamn, <laughs> six years what? in, man, come on. What did it? Bobby got to get in that KBG oh, car boy. after this. <laughs> 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 the KVG be waiting on Bobby after the show. We finished Zo show, Bobby. Be like, All right, I got to get him out of here. Y'all be good. Y'all be good. Oh the KVG. Right. Y'all be good. Bobby be tiptoeing him out these motherfuckers. The KGB is alive. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> They've been watching the 5150 for years. Yeah, Damn. right. They know. They know. Oh, my um, God. Ah, but look. Oh, I yeah, give that, your tips. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm no, no, no. I asked that question to say, mm. Darlene, to remedy and do right mm. by the two men that you was fucking, that they didn't know you was fucking. Don't you think telling them, even today, like you remember back in 1971 when we was at the skating rink? I, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> What I'm saying is, wouldn't you feel better if you called the guys that you used to fuck with and said, you know, I was fucking with people the whole time I was around you. My God. You saying with two different guys at at the same time? Just call two guys from your past and just get that off your chest because they never knew. They thought it was just you. Man, you trying to get her beheaded, I know, but I'm just saying. No, I'm not. I'm talking about what happened. Beheaded? No, Corey, but you're saying. I'm talking about what happened. You're talking about messing around with, with, with. Having sex with somebody at the same time? Did like you ever during? cheat on ice? No, I, already, I ain't asking her that. I ain't asking her I that. I did. You ask her. Okay, go ahead. I already answered it. Well, you have to read right. the book. You know, the book comes out on Valentine's. Too, oh, right? Damn, he got her us. book coming out. Why y'all yeah. bullshit? Oh, you already know. I already told you that's why I've been working on it. Yeah, the last year. Oh, uh, but I'm saying, I didn't know. I'm oh, saying, yeah. like, would you feel, do, do you think it would be right? Wars? What are these? It's, what are they called? It's mine. It's called Definition of Down. Definition of Down. I like the way that sounds. Yeah. Okay. A true yeah. hip hop love story. Little mm. hood novels. <laughs> you feel me? I'm He's right about with her. Okay. About to put the motherfucking knowledge in the nation. <laughs> yeah. But like calling two guys you used to fuck with and okay. telling them, yo, I never fuck with you. But that was teenage stuff, so it doesn't really count. I mean, I met yeah, him. Yeah, it counts because 18. those guys believed in you. Well, one of them's dead. The one that right. I dated the longest, he's dead already. Most of them are dead. Okay. Most of your boyfriends are dead? Yeah. yeah. So, killed. is there any two women out they here? They got killed. They were killed, yeah. They got killed? Mm-hmm. Damn. That's fucked up. We saw Not over me or anything. I mean, after oh. the past. No, really, honestly, they're dead. They got, the ones that I dated the, the longest streets, right? are dead. Out there in mm-hmm. the street? Yeah. So the two yeah. two women you fuck with that, 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 that don't know that about the other two or the girl you were dealing with, would you ever call them and tell them, okay, well, the whole time I was with you, I never was solely with you? Would you have the guts to do that? Here, here, here's, a, here's a story. Uh, I've done that before, and it was crazy. Just like come clean? 
It was fucking even after the fact. Isn't nuts. that a trip though? Who I knew I had to. Why somebody got pregnant? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, I know that's what oh, that's what dudes always <laughs> tell. <laughs> when it ain't no way around it, they be like, he gonna find no, out about this. To, my youngest kid. So in other words, I you, you waited. Were, uh, Let's hear this. I it, waited it. until she was like eight months pregnant. Right? And then I was in Atlanta. And then there was this phone call where it was everybody on the line at the same time. Oh, not one of those. They yeah. went in on it together. You gotta beat them to it. It's all you hey. learn. Hey, Anybody, hey, 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 are you on the mic? What's going on? <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of side conversations is that? <laughs> <laughs> Who's saying that? Yeah, Hold no, on, let's go so get this out. Shit. Let's go okay. get this out. Yeah, <laughs> but, but no, you know, we had the conversation, man, and I just told him right then and there. But it was after the fact. Eight months. She's she was having a baby in the next month. And they still got real upset about that, huh? Oh man, they they they're still mad. And they weren't even wait, you, you after the fact ago. you weren't with them. So in other words, you guys were apart. <laughs> no, Everybody I was with was. all of them at the same time. And you had to come clean and, oh well of course they're gonna get upset. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought it they was still after mad. the fact. That's mm. real. That's real. Um Jeez. Tell right. the truth, Bobby. No, he did the right Yo, thing. No bus throwing under the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. He did. Yeah, yeah motherfucker. <laughs> Tell the truth, Bobby. Well, somebody like that. That's I'm, wrong I'm, how people be liking other people's conversation. Conversation. Now Bobby's staying out of conversations. <laughs> no, man, it's no point in, in going back. I was back. there, Corey. It's no Zoe point. Zoe said the bitch was wonderful. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's your invitation to you. Bob. All I'm trying to say is, there's no need to, uh, you know, reopen those kind of wounds. Ruin in, in your my situation. Opinion. No, in your question, opinion, no, it ain't never no need to tell nobody what they need to know. Not 25 <laughs> years later. Why would they need to what, know? What it? the fuck? I look like calling somebody. Look here, you know, 25 <laughs> years ago, uh, I did you wrong. Right, I mean, I what's the really point of me you doing say that? You, you ain't got to tell them you did them wrong. Be like, I want to come. No, that was you right. No, that's and wrong. Let you know that your pussy was not <laughs> able to <laughs> make me go. behave. <laughs> now, so, what's the upside to that? They know that you was an honest man about that shit, and you came honest? clean. What the fuck is honest about being dishonest? Right. So I don't understand they don't, what you mean. No, 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 so the old saying, what they don't know won't clean, hurt. No. If you've been dishonest for a long time, I've been there before. Goddamn, it's whack. There's a point where you go, okay, enough's enough. Goddamn. Just come clean, tell the truth about it, and get it over. That's, sometimes, that's a, sometimes, for most African-American men, just men in general... That's a fucking rite of passage when you get to that point and go, well, fuck it, man. I'm going to tell y'all something. Was it a choice or were you One forced? One day in my life, I really told everybody everything they needed to know. See? And I almost felt like I was born again. It felt good. I you woke like up. A the weight of the world was off my heart. Because I knew that they knew everything they needed to know. And I put it all out there. And that was, that was since I've been a grown man, that was the most, be- that was the best night's sleep I ever had in my life. And then, <laughs> as the years, as the years have progressed, where the lies have piled up again. <laughs> Your point, well, right? My know, sleep, no. Now we know why. Now we know why he's doing the show, man. Right? Yeah. My sleep has yeah. not been the same. <laughs> See, I've I've been to the mountaintop so, of sleep. So you, I have you, laid down and woke up with no bullshit on my heart. But then you and I'm trying to tell you, sinners, <laughs> he who comes short oh, of his Lord. will, oh, you need Lord. to tell that person oh, you Lord. with okay. how much okay. of a fool they been around you. They deserve to know that there is a oh, motherfucking oh, fool Lord. for even fucking with you. And if they fuck with you after that, that's real love. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Book of Corinthians. We finally got this thing. You know, we were trying to flesh out when you you gave him the subject matter. What was the end game? So you reached that that second uh, point of fullness, and you want to once again put it all out there. Me giving advice, me giving, um, me talking about experiences I had. I do that. I do that every week. I don't put shit out of out, no, out there I know on the you, line. Believe me, bro. We didn't sit through this for six years, and I know you didn't. Made my jaw drop many times. It's girls out there, out there like, who have let men eat haunted pussies. 
A haunted pussy is a pussy where she had an abortion less than a month ago and let him eat the pussy, knowing that it is cemetery <laughs> juice dripping out of pussy. Haunted pussies are a problem in this country. A lot of guys have from? been digesting haunted pussy droppings. <laughs> and I don't think that's fair. You did, That man deserved to know that a life was yanked out that tackle box. <laughs> If it's been less than a month. That's all I'm Not trying to say, man. People box. need to tell the truth. That's right. They got a tackle box. God damn it. There's all kind of hooks. Bait, dead fish smell. Little lines in there. Fish tackle box. <laughs> right. A lot of bitches walk around with tackle boxes down there, man. <laughs> all kind of dead fish heads would be in that pussy if they can look up in that motherfucker. Uh. But that don't stop you from mm. liking her. But you deserve to know that you are eating life yanked womb. Oh. What? <laughs> life yanked womb. <laughs> life Is that the official womb. name for um, aborted pussy? Wow. Mm. Damn, man. Well, oh, okay, fuck it. Y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm, I'm bad, I guess. No, I'm, we I'm just went ready man. for that graphic. Uh, yeah. All right, so so basically, if, if somebody wants to give it a go, or if somebody wants to try wow. this out for themselves, mm. go for it. Is, what you, you, is that what you're saying? No, no. I'm asking no you. he's saying at some point in your life, men, women, you got to reach a point, a threshold, a watershed, where you just tell everybody... The truth. It don't count when you've been diagnosed That's with something say. where you terminally ill. While you still alive and healthy and got a chance to do right, I feel like you owe it to the world and the people in your sexual circle to know what the fuck is really going on in your motherfucking but what life if just and really they motherfucking a... life, whether they know it or not. That might turn into a terminal illness. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> So, Bobby, are you saying you might die don't from tell the truth? That poison. is what Bobby's saying. Bobby no, is I didn't saying, say that. I did not really say not that. much to say. I mean, See, I'm not saying that. A I'm just saying enough to deal with. be Wait, prepared for the point. Both of y'all can't talk. I want to hear both of y'all point. Bobby, go, then you get ready. All right. I'm not saying that you shouldn't tell the truth, but you should take into account what the truth may bring. That's your way of saying don't tell the truth. No, I'm what not. What the fuck no, are you I'm doing? And jump no. on Bobby. No. Bobby, I know. this. Let me tell you something. You are my dear friend. And right. I'm here to let you know right. that that game oh, weak so than a motherfucker <laughs> that you coming with. I would not say that to be trying to say no I evil know, shit. Okay, okay, that okay. is okay. some soft ass shit you talking about right there, bro. I can't respect that shit. If I was a girl okay. in a house coat listening to that bullshit, <laughs> I'd, I'd boil some water and throw it on your ass for coming with that bullshit right there, bro. Now, Darlene, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what? No, because... Okay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, because you said terminal illness doesn't count. Because when you're talking like that and you said, mm. okay, come to a point, you've had enough, but maybe you had enough, a lot mm. of stuff. I'm thinking, well, how much stuff did you have built and pent up that you felt the need and the want to have to do that. In other words, I don't think there's a lot of people out there that have. Everybody is different. What's That's your, what I'm saying. But what's I'm your saying, level of what you could take? Exactly. But what I'm saying like, is, how much shit have you got pent up? D, listen to this. <laughs> you are not promised tomorrow. Every day you bullshit. That is something that is on your soul. And I'm not saying I'm better mm. than anybody. I'm not saying that I tell the truth all the time because nobody does. Right, but Nobody you know, does. But you got to but the point. It's you can't saying. make excuses for ducking the truth. It looks weak in front of everybody with common sense. Wow. That's a good point. Mm, that's a good point. That is a good point. You can't argue that. Point. Even when you try to dress your game up, you don't know how weak you look when you lying. Now, some lies you got to commit to. You cannot <laughs> you know tell well, this motherfucker the truth right. because you might as well... Mean. Go pack a gun while you're talking to him. Because you might have to kill this motherfucker. I understand you. that shit. Or they'll kill you. But after a year, <laughs> after some time has passed, you should have the courage in your soul if you are moral, especially if you're still around that person and it comes to some dick pussy shit, to tell them about, not in detail, now, never go into detail. <laughs> oh, Lord. Don't no, see, never the 
No, I'm, the it ain't no stipulations. You don't go into details about <laughs> where your dick been because <laughs> you, my dick was somewhere. You will be answering that question oh, a rip. thousand times over. She going to ask you that question a million ways. All you got to say is, look, I be fucking these hoes out here in the street. I don't like these hoes, but I am going to stop fucking with these hoes because you mean a lot to me. Oh, my priorities so... are straight. Okay. And Ooh. I'm going to stop fucking these right. hoes. I hate these hoes. <laughs> you the only hoe I love. <laughs> Why motherfuckers won't say that to they hoe? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Mm, mm. And ladies, you need to look that man in the eye and be like, even though I go to church every week, (laughs) I want you to know that Reverend Theotis we skidded all up in this ass. <laughs> but we ain't never got to go to that church again, and we could go to church with some good Christian folks. We try to do better. Right. Or we can go to any long church where you ain't got to worry about none of the dudes trying to fuck me anyway. Uh. <laughs> what? I'm just saying. That's how it goes. <laughs> Woo! So, Nobody boy. in any long church fuck. is because she ugly. Ain't, they ain't fucking none of them hoes in Eddie Long Church. The whole mm. time he preaching, them hoes be patting that pussy. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> I can't get a motherfucking to say shit to me. <laughs> and Eddie Long, <laughs> moist, <laughs> um, <laughs> anally moist Baptist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that the name of the church? Anally moist Baptist. Oh, man. Something dripping out the Lord. Oh, boy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> we almost made it through a whole show. AMB. <laughs> Anally Moist Baptist, the church of AMB. Oh, Lord. You see Zoe added his little joke in there? Hey, no, oh, I ain't, I ain't oh. the only one who bad. Okay, mm. see, look. Okay. I just, hey. hey. Shit, that's your joke. Mm. <laughs> this mm. is why people watch the 5150 show. <laughs> because of the honesty. Watch this. Watch this. 5150 Nation this week. Our show wasn't online, and it wasn't because we didn't try. That's for uh, sure. I spent a grip more money than I ever thought I would ever spend on this <laughs> pussy ass shit. I feel, I feel weird. I feel like this still was a good show, even though um, it was excellent. We had some technical difficulties. Yeah, but, uh, we started late. And we saw the chat room. People like they don't know they ain't even on the air. <laughs> <laughs> we saw that shit, man. Right. So <laughs> we on. We we'll be posting this motherfucker up tomorrow because mm-hmm. we did record the show. And, Chop um, it up, edit it, you know. Darlene, um, Bobby, Zo, I and thank y'all for staying late. The whole gang, y'all know. I thank y'all for staying late. Don't forget the, the game. The game. We the gotta game. record the game. What is the game? Basketball. Oh, it's yeah, going bas- down. Oh next no, week. the basketball yeah, game. Exactly. We go. We gonna okay. play that. <laughs> We're going to play yeah. that about yeah. 30 play minutes before the show happens. Yeah. Yeah. Oh however God. long it takes. We're going to put, right, we gonna, they should play the game at five. Oh, that way yeah, they could have time to wash up in the sink like they left a bitch grip. But anyway, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what I'm saying is, yeah. play Bobby with a you got to plug on. anything, Zoe? Uh, Bobby? Let Bobby go first. Just get with me on Real Men Don't Play. Amazon.com, iTunes, Barnes & Nobles. It's time y'all went on and supported a brother. And... Enjoy the show next week because one of us is really going to be smiling. Mm. And I'm you're looking at him right now. It's going to be me. I'm going to oh take God, this boy I down. I can't look at Zoe's face. Take Sounds confident. Down. Zoe, what do you have to say? What do you have to plug? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have to <sighs> Mondays, T Radio V, the Zoe What Morning Show. Tune in. Uh, <laughs> mm. I'm going to beat the shit out of Bobby. That's <laughs> oh all I got to say. I'm really going to take out some pent-up frustration yeah, I got yeah, out on Bobby. Yeah, yeah, okay. But, uh, yeah. yeah, just tune in. Uh, go to my new website, IamZoeWilliams.com, and, um, you know, continue to support the movement. Here's something new. Darlene is getting ready to release her book. What's yeah. happening, D? Let, yeah, let, let the 5150 coming, Nation know. Well, yeah, that's coming out. Uh, yeah, they just gave me the release date last wow. week. So it's a 2015 Valentine's. Ooh, mm. Valentine's story, Day huh? Mask. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what's up. Mm-hmm. This white bitch came through. No, and changed she's my not life. in it at all. Actually, no. no? You mm-hmm. didn't put the white bitch in it at all. all? No, there's no need for that in my book. No. Uh-uh. Wow. The definition of down. Mm. You about to teach a whole generation class of women how to be down. Well, there was 17 years of that, so. 
I believe you, homie. You didn't leave out no shit in there about what you did, right? Of course. Not at all. That's what's up. I'm I tell you right now, you I just said something about being honest. Watch, not at all. I look forward to reading this shit. Honestly, I see like the. You know how you just said, like, you have to say. So you revealed honestly. your infidelity. I revealed everything to this day. That's what's about. up. I really oh, look wow. forward. To, I really look dope. forward to hearing. Y'all gonna have an uh, audio copy because niggas don't read. Nigga well, needs some subliminals it, well, of your um, book. <laughs> well, Rick Rubin just got um, the first copy of, well, our first draft. And there are so many photos and audio and video links that we're going to do a separate book with just that, with just pictures. That there's so much that he felt that it was that important to history. Oh, there's some revealing history. pictures of you in the book. Well, I mean, well, the old ones, yeah. I mean, a lot of people want to, you know, have motivation to read page to page, mm. you know, if there's... Look at the tackle box. <laughs> exactly. Oh, no, there's never been any like that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Ain't no tackle box there's shots. Never, <laughs> there's Look, never been any like he that. he called it a tackle. Check this out, hey, 5150 what? Nation. This show is recorded on what day? What day is today? Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, November the 4th. Fourth. The 4th. Mm hmm Listen, November 7th, I'm going to be in Battle Creek, Michigan. I'm going to bring the motherfucking house down. And the next day, on the 8th, we are in Chi-Town, my hometown. The ticket sales are doing well, but I want to sell that big motherfucking airy crown out. Mm. So y'all fuck with your boy. I promise you I will deliver. Oh, I will right. not have Count you. Count on that. I Always. won't have you leaving the show feeling like, Man, I spent all this money on parking and all this shit. <laughs> when you come to the Corey Holcomb show, all I can tell you is this. I'm going to represent. If I wasn't going to represent, I wouldn't be saying that. I'm going to represent. So y'all fuck with me. I know parking at that Airy Crown is a motherfucking all that shit. But fuck with your boy. I got you. Mm -hmm. 5150 Nation. Be back. We lived again another week, and we will be back next week. That's what's up. Peace honestly, out. Honestly, honestly. <laughs>